welcome to our video where we will show you the features on the sealed switch module of a Bell E-Series articulated dump track that will enable us to drive the track. This includes our gears, brake retardation and speed control. This is the park brake. A short press will release or apply the park brake manually. The truck is programmed to keep the automatic park brake applied whilst in neutral as a safety measure to prevent any uncontrolled movement. When this happens, the park brake light on the CDU changes from red to green and auto appears under the symbol. The park brake will release automatically when the truck is put into drive and the accelerator pedal is depressed. Below the park brake is the gear hold button. If the LED is on, then the gear hold function is activated. This is useful on steep inclines or in sticky conditions when a changing gear may cause the vehicle to lose traction or momentum. Essentially, the transmission holds the gear it is in when the button is pressed, allowing the transmission to shift down as normal, but not to a higher gear until the function is turned off and the transmission reverts back to normal automatic mode. Down the right hand side, we have the drive, neutral and reverse buttons. To drive or reverse, select the D or R button respectively. Press the park brake button to release the park brake and drive off. The LED and CDU park brake indicators turn off when the park brake is released. Note that the horn sounds automatically, which is a standard feature built into the machine to warn anyone in close proximity that the vehicle is about to move. If the track speed is under 7 km per hour or 4 miles per hour when neutral is pressed, then the park brake will be automatically applied. If drive or reverse are selected, it will be released again. You can manually set and change the maximum gear that can be reached. By pressing the arrows while in drive mode and the LED above the D is on. The CDU will then display the maximum gear that can be reached on the left hand side, which you can change up or down using the arrows on the SSM. The current gear selected is displayed on the right hand side. A change of direction is only allowed at speeds below 5 km per hour or 3 miles per hour. When all the LEDs on the differential lock button are off, a short press will apply the inter-axle differential lock and the left LED will illuminate. A second short press and the LED turns off. On bell trucks fitted with a controlled traction differential lock, when the LEDs are off and you give the button a long press, both the inter-axle differential lock and controlled traction differential lock are applied and both LEDs light up. The CTD will automatically be deactivated after 30 seconds and the second LED light will turn off. The inter-axle differential lock and controlled traction differential lock will only engage at speeds less than 1 km per hour or 0.62 miles per hour and you are able to see the status of both on the CDU. This is the retarder or speed control button. The retarder comes on automatically when your foot is lifted from the accelerator pedal. Set the retard aggressiveness using these arrows. The LEDs indicate the level of retardation selected between 0% and 100%. The retard controls the speed of the track, especially during descent, which helps in reducing fuel consumption and minimizing brake wear. The retard automatically activates at the preset level as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator pedal. However, if the truck goes faster than the speed it was doing when you took your foot off the accelerator, the retardation automatically increases to prevent the truck from running away. The speed control function allows you to set the maximum speed for the truck, so you can have the accelerator pedal completely depressed without having to worry about controlling the speed or worrying about foot movement from bumpy roads. The speed control function mimics an operator by reducing acceleration and applying the retarder. Activate speed control by pressing and holding either of the arrows until the three lights above the respective arrows start flashing. The speed can be increased or decreased using the arrows. The operator can set two speed limits and cycle between them by pressing that respective button. For operator safety, it is advised that the speed control values be set while the machine is stationary. 
Pressing and holding the button below the flashing LEDs will return you to normal retarder functions. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for joining me and look out for our bin tipping video.